Good, Good morning, morning Fire Cubs. Cubs. Today is Thursday, October 21st, 2021. I am Eileen Medina, one of your ASD officers. And I am Jana Burris, one of your ASD officers. Welcome to The Cub Report, your daily source of information for what is going on here at Park. The Cub Report is our way of letting students, staff, and family know everything that is going on here at Park and to create a better con connection among everyone. As you've seen on the daily reports, it's been a close battle for first place between Isabindi and Revere, but it's still anyone's game, so make sure and represent your house well to get how those points. Reminder, there will be no school tomorrow. Enjoy your three-day weekend. Students, remember that even though Second Chance Breakfast is free, it is reserved for those students who did not already have breakfast in the cafeteria before school. If you already had breakfast in the cafeteria before school, leave the Second Chance Breakfast for students who have not had breakfast yet. Sixth graders, math club has started. It will run on Tuesdays and Thursdays during lunchtime in Ms. Leite's room. For more information, see Mrs. Leite or Mr. Mendoza. It's time for a sports update. Girls soccer tied on Monday. They fought their way back from a 3-0 score at the beginning of the game and ended up tying. A park player, Destiny Humphreys, had an awesome goal. Catherine Rodriguez had a few saves in the first half and all of our park girls made us proud. The girls have improved so much and have learned a ton about the game. We are so proud of all of their hard work and dedication to improving. Team captains Mariel and Nevaeh led Coach Blake's Power Cubs volleyball team to their victory over Chinook on Monday. Geraldine had an amazing 15 serves over the net. Kenya, Xiomara, Yoslin, and Brianna all had aces during the game. Continually proud of the effort you ladies put out on the court and the tremendous sportsmanship you all exhibit. Keep it up! Our football team had their last game on Tuesday night. They played an awesome game and fought hard the whole way through. We're so proud of you, Park Football. Today, Cross Country has their last meet at Carmichael at 4 o'clock. Good luck today! Good morning, Park Cubs. It's Coach Greer here coming to remind you that this afternoon you're going to want to come and watch the 8th grade girls volleyball players play the staff and it's been 14 years we have never lost they're going down it's going to be fun to watch and it's two dollars to get in all of the money that we raise helps support our ASB and our program so can't wait to see you guys there this afternoon winter one sports will start next monday october 25th after school at 2.45. Parents must sign you up in power school. Students must also have a physical on file in order to practice. Remember, if you are interested in being part of the Youth and Justice Forum, applications are due by today. Turn applications in to Mrs. De La Barrera. She can be found during lunchtime in the cafeteria or out in the blacktop. Next week will be Spirit Week. Here are the themes for each day. Monday will be Pajama Day, Tuesday will be Twin Day, Wednesday will be Sports Day, Thursday will be Class versus Class. We will see which class has the most students wearing their house colors. So make sure and wear your house colors on Thursday. Amistad is red, Alterismo is black, Isabindi is green, and Revere is blue. Friday will be Nerd or Costume Day. This will be a fun time to dress up and show our school spirit, but please remember that there are no hats or hoods, weapons, blood and gore, or full face Halloween mask allowed. This goes for every day of Spirit Week. If you have any questions, ask a teacher. Don't forget if you've lost something valuable with like AirPods, keys, phones, jewelry, glasses, etc. Go to the main office in front of the school to claim them. These valuable items should not be in the lost, lost and found box in the cafeteria. Do you need a quiet place to study? Do you need extra help with some of your schoolwork? Then tutorial is for you. Tutorial runs every day after school until 3.45 p.m. Snacks are provided for all students and staff members are there to help you with schoolwork. If you need, if you would like to attend, meet out in the front of the school by the main office. You are welcome to attend even if you have not been referred by a teacher. On your first day, you will be given a parent permission form to return to the school. Students that m come must stay the whole time. You may not leave whenever you'd like. For more information, see a staff member 
Our quote of the week is throw kindness around the confetti. That quote is actually posted somewhere around in Park Middle School. Do you know where it is? The cover part can be found by going to www.youtube.com slash park middle school cup. If you have any thoughts or suggestions or shout outs for this cover for, send your ideas to bit.ly slash cover for submission. That's all for today. Have a great three day weekend and remember all children are capable of success. No, no exceptions. exceptions.